Hey everyone, Joe here. Welcome to part four of the Pro Tools First Pro course. In this part, I'm gonna be showing you how to get a USB microphone set up in Pro Tools First so that you can record your music and podcasts and things. It can be tricky to get USB microphones set up in Pro Tools First, but I'm gonna show you the options that you have available. Before we start, let's quickly talk about USB microphones, what they are, what they're used for. So if you if you didn't see the previous the previous part, we went over audio interfaces. I'll leave a link uh, in the description. An audio interface is a separate box that you plug your microphone into to amplify the, the signal. A USB microphone has all that stuff built in. So it has the preamp to get your uh, voice up to the right level. Um, it, they normally have a built-in headphone jack as well so you can listen back. So it can be a lot easier and sometimes cheaper to get set up. The thing is with Pro Tools first though, it requires a driver to get working and USB microphones don't always come with a dedicated audio driver. So depending on which USB microphone you have, it might just not work, but there are a few workarounds, a few things we can do to get them working. So let's go through how to install the USB mic and how to get it working in Pro Tools first. So there are three methods that you can use to get your USB mic working with Pro Tools first and each of them is a little bit harder than the first. So we're gonna try the easiest one first. I've got my USB mic plugged in to the USB port. It's an Audio-Technica ATR2100X. Now with Pro Tools first, or, or Pro Tools, uh, any version, if you, if you watch the previous um, part of this series, you'll know that if you go into setup and click on playback engine, you'll be able to choose the playback engine. That's the driver that Pro Tools is gonna be using to receive and output audio. So at the moment it's set to focus right, um, that's my audio interface. But for a USB microphone, if you click on this and find your USB microphone in this list, you'll be able to use it as a, the device driver and you'll be able to record and playback in Pro Tools with your USB microphone. It doesn't show for me. Sometimes it will work with your Windows Audio device. Um, so you can click on that and hit yes to swap. But as you can see, it's got nothing in input device. If nothing comes up in input device for you, then it's not gonna work. And yeah, it's probably not gonna work if you can't find your USB microphone in this playback engine list. Now, if this doesn't work for your USB microphone, there are a couple of other options you can try. Now, this is a little bit simpler with certain programs like Audacity. Um, you can see that the microphone comes up as ATR2100X and we can just select that USB mic and use it to record um, just so you know what kind of thing you'd expect to see if it did work with Pro Tools. But with Pro Tools, um, it's more for professional audio. USB microphones aren't typically used and eventually you might want to upgrade to an audio interface, but there are ways of getting this working. So I'm going to show you the other two methods that you can try and they both require you to download the ASIO for all driver. So we're going to do that now. So if you open up your browser and go to ASIO for number four all.org, it's going to bring you to this uh, this this download page and the, the ASIO driver is a universal driver that allows you to use audio devices within Windows. So the latest version is at the top there. I've tested this already and the latest version didn't work for me. So I'm going to go down um, down the page and go for version 2.13. So you can try the latest version first, um, but just so you know, you might need to try some of the uh, an earlier version. And then while that's downloading, you can just close down Pro Tools because you don't want that open when you're installing any audio drivers. So we've downloaded that. Now we're going to open up the EXE and install and just go through the wizard. Straightforward, next, next. You can leave all this off uh, and just install. So that's done. That's already done. I recommend rebooting your PC now. So now that you've rebooted your machine, you can go into setup again in Pro Tools first and playback engine where we went before. And if you look in the playback engine list now, you'll find ASIO for all the driver there. Um, so we're gonna select that one and just reopen Pro Tools. You use this driver for certain audio interfaces as well. It's really useful um, for Windows audio. And then if we create a new track with Control Shift N or Command Shift N on a Mac, and then in the interface, uh, if you change the, the input, 
you'll see that it's got this HD audio mic now and in the output it's got an HD audio output. Um, now we're going to arm the track by clicking record, press record and we're going to test the USB microphone and for this uh, microphone it doesn't work. Now if this doesn't work for you then you'll need to try the third option um, which is the most reliable, it just takes a little bit of extra work uh, and that's using Voice Meter Potato, another program. So if you go onto your browser and go to vb-audio.com slash voicemeter slash potato, uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description below, you'll, you'll find this piece of software, it's free and it, it creates a virtual audio device that you'll be able to use to route your USB microphone into Pro Tools. So we're going to download the EXE down here, the latest version. This is Windows, uh, this is Windows software. And once you've installed that, it's going to come up and it's going to give you this evaluation window. Because it's free, you've got to wait a little while for it to launch. Uh, but you know, you can grab a drink or something while you're waiting. And again, I do recommend installing this without Pro Tools first launched and rebooting your PC after installation. And once you've rebooted your machine, if you go down in, in your PC to your audio devices in Windows, you'll see that we've got some of these voice meter options here. And then if we load Pro Tools first back up, and then once we've loaded Pro Tools first back up, you're gonna to wanna to go back to the settings menu into playback engine. And the playback engine you want this time is voice meter, aux, virtual, ASIO. So these five uh, in engines will, devices will have all cropped up in your playback engine and it's got these virtual outputs as well. So it works similarly to a, a proper uh, physical audio interface with a, a driver, but it's all virtual within this software. So let's open up the software. It looks a bit confusing, but you don't need to be using most of those, just the couple of options that, that I'm gonna show you now. Um, so firstly, we want an input. So this is gonna pick up the input from our, this this input one is gonna pick up what we, what's going into our USB microphone and rerouting it to a virtual input of voice meter, which we've set up as the input in Pro Tools. So it's gonna be going into that, uh, into Pro Tools. And then it's gonna be coming out of our speakers. Right, so have a look at input one and see what you've got underneath there. It's got the wrong microphone, I've got the Audio, uh, the audio Technica plugged in. So we're going to click on that and find, go down to MME if you've got it, and find your microphone. So there we've got ATR2100X, that's my microphone. Now automatically, because I've got the USB mic plugged in, we can see that that's working. Hello, testing. And if you go back into Pro Tools first and click on record or monitor, um, we're not getting the audio coming in yet. So let's have a look at what, what's happening. Right, so what I did, I just gave Voice Meter a restart, um, and now you can see Pro Tools First has popped up there, which is what we want to see. So now if we go back into Pro Tools First and monitor, we can see some audio coming through. through. And then finally, you want to check the output. So you can set that to the headphone output of the USB microphone itself, or to your Windows um, audio, it'll come up with Windows Audio or Realtek. But if we just set it to the USB mic, that means that we can now record with the USB microphone. We can see it coming up there. And we can also plug in headphones into the USB mic and listen back. So that works. Bit of a long-winded way of doing it. But if the first two easier options don't work for you, then the voice meter method should work fine. There might be some little tweaks you need to make. If it's not working, something you can try is choosing one of the other um, playback engines, the AUX Virtual, the Virtual, or the, the, the VIO 3, and then just check in, in each part of the signal chain that things are coming through. If nothing's coming through here in your, in your hardware input, then it means that your USB microphone just isn't picking anything up to begin with, so it's not gonna be going through to Pro Tools. So, you can try the WDM or the MME. Um, they're just different sort of audio codecs. Um, and otherwise, you might have to have a look at your USB microphone, test it in another program, make sure it's working in, working in general.
Uh, but if, you, if it's not working for you, if you do have any questions, then feel free to leave them in the comments section below and I'll do what I can to, to get you set up. So your recording and playback devices should now be set up. In the next part, I'm gonna be showing you how to import some audio. So hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified when the next video is up. And let me know in the comments section below which USB microphone are you using to record with. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in part five.